slash montage slash trailer of what I created my name is Chris and in this video I'm going to tell you why you should travel abroad or specifically to Tulu Mexico cue the intro <laughs> so reason one to come to Tulum of course, the beach. Check out the vibes. Big jump. See that beautiful view? Look at that. Come on now. Vibes. We got a lot of seaweed back here, but it's all good though, you know. Keep to make it do what it do. But look at it. Beach club. Big away from. That's why you come to Tulum. Get away, relax. You got the beach here. Look at the ocean, the waves coming in. Look a little big to have to. <laughs> but in order to get back here, it was like, kind of like a little task because it seems like it's like you just can't walk up to the beach and just walk on to it. It's like everything's like resort, hotels, beach clubs, stuff like that. So I just came to to one of these beach clubs, forget the name of it, and uh, basically, you know, they got a little minimum for the day bed, you know, just so you be on the beach, and here, yeah. it's only about like, I think it's minimum like 20, 25 dollars, something like that, so you get some great food while you're out here, and enjoy the beautiful view, and come get in the water. Reason two to travel to Mexico, get on the water, enjoy the locals, you see, you go around snorkeling, not me. I'm about to go see the Mayan ruins, Bobo. Can't go see it close up because it's shut down because of Corona and COVID, but it's all good. <laughs> the culture. So I'm going to drop some things under that subheadings. So the vibe. The people. <laughs> places I visited in Mexico, specifically when I was in Cabo San Lucas, which is totally different from Tulum. Tulum felt like a slower pace. Everything was just mad chill. You just want to chill out, you know what I'm saying? Go out there with your linen pants, look good, you know, take your photos, your IG photos, like one right here. <laughs> but yeah, everything, like I said, the vibe, the culture, the people, it was just mad chill and relaxed. Just like, it's, it's something different that I never experienced before personally. And I enjoyed that a lot, and it gave me a different change of pace, especially coming from the States, you know, dealing with the pandemic and stuff like that. We'll get into that later, but it is for real just to help me clear my, clear my mental, and I just felt so much at peace out there. So that's another reason you need to go. Reason number two to travel to Tulum is because the food. Now, I'm going to admit, everything that I had in Tulum wasn't amazing, but there were a couple spots that I hit, the food was amazing. Now, if you want cheaper food, primarily better eat in Tulum Town, where the food is cheaper at. I got two spots that was good. Got a spot called Burrito Amor. Put a screen on my burrito. Then we got another spot I stumbled across called Vivo, which is a vegetarian vegan restaurant. I'm going to lay some footage down now. We just 
just stumbled upon this vegan slash vegetarian restaurant. You know me, I like my protein, so uh, we're gonna see what this talking about. Food look good. They got a fresh, crazy oven slash stove top. We'll show you guys that. So, and they got the fresh fruits and vegetables. So I'm looking forward to trying this out. Tamale. This is the second time I had tamale. First one in Mexico. Let's see how it tastes. And it's vegan. So, woo. Y'all, actually, this is real good. I can dig it. I like this. Shit good. And it only costs 30 pesos. So that's what? A dollar some change. Bebo. I like it. Vegan restaurant. Vegan slash vegetarian. First time I've been here. First time I've ever been to a restaurant like this. Ever. It's good though. I like it. As you see, I'm still eating, so it must be good. Fit fat boy. Just finished the meal. I stamped it for approval. A1. It was good. You know, vegan slash vegetarian restaurant. First time I've been here, it was good. Chicken killers and eggs filled me up. Couldn't even finish it. As you can see, still some left. A bunch left. One more bite to go. Fit fat boy status. Now you you want to spin a little bag, run it up. They got um Rosa Nigga. That food was good. I had lamb chops. I'm trying to tell y'all that joint hit, but it's gonna cost you because it's on the main you know resort spot area. Rosa Nigga. Just keep that in mind, you know what I'm saying? Just depend on, depend on how your bread look, how your money looking, you know what I'm saying? You want to ball on a budget or you go on a trip, you want to ring it up. I, I'm, I'm both ways. It just depends on what I'm doing, but just got to be mindful of that when it comes to eating and the food. One, two, three. Travel to Tulum to the damn cenotes. I'm trying to tell y'all the cenotes. Beautiful. I've never seen water that looked like that. Never seen, you know, caves, swam on the caves. Never did anything like that in my life personally. But I tried it for the first time there. And mind you, I can't swim that well. But I had a goddamn lifeguard, hell of a lifeguard, hell of a tour guide that's pulling me under caves and everything. Even with life that's on, you know. It's different swimming than still water, but that being said, your boy is taking swimming lessons soon, so I'm proud of that. So next time I go, ain't gonna get showing up, ain't gonna look like no simple or anything like that. <laughs> but yes, the cenotes, beautiful, and if you go in the morning, be mindful of that they will be cold. All right, the fifth reason you should go is the Mayan ruins. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Now, I don't know how they build those without the technological advancement we have now, but from the boat, which you only allowed to go to the sea because of the quarantine. We couldn't go close and personal per se, which I was upset about. But all in all, I still got to see it and it was beautiful. And what I did was I did the boat ride plus the notes and the combined price. It wasn't over like sixty dollars, I don't think. You know, you can have them. they hustlers out there, you know, they they're gonna try to give you the best price because, you know, they trying to make money. But other than that, it was great to see from the boat. So you definitely gotta check out the Mayan ruins if you go to Tulum. All right, the sixth reason I went to Tulum and you, why you should travel to Tulum. I did a lot of research on places to travel, you know, when states and countries and you know some of the borders started to open up. I was looking at traveling in state first, specifically to Miami, Florida. Then I started looking at the cases. I'm like, damn, it's high. So I started looking, you know, doing my research, dabbling, and lo and behold, I looked at Mexico, Tulum, and the cases were lower than the United States, so that was a no-brainer to me. I was going to travel to somewhere, you know, that had less cases than we have currently in the States, so of course, 
taking necessary precautions when you're traveling, the same you thing you do here in the States. You should do it on the plane, what is required on the plane in order to get on the plane now. And then when you get in Mexico, do the same precautions. Wash your hands, hand sanitizer, face mask. Try to stay, you know, socially distanced. You know the things. All right, it's time to wrap this video. I gotta give you some tips before you travel to Tulum or before you make up your mind, your decision. First off, I would say, of course, change up your currency, you know, so get some uh, pesos. Have pesos and dollars, you know, because sometimes when you go to pay with U.S. dollars, they're not going to give you the exact conversion rate back to your dollar. So they might short you, basically. So that's one thing to be mindful of. If you get an Airbnb like I did, which I had a beautiful Airbnb. I'm, I'm going to lay some footage on the screen right now. If you get an Airbnb, depending on where you stay, I had one that was probably a five-minute ride to Tulum Beach, where's all, where all the resorts and everything are, I would say get a damn scooter. I got a scooter for Friday. The money was only sixty some bucks. That's that's nothing. And then you can move on your own time. Then parking is so much easier. I swear you could just drive down that street where Tulum Beach is. You just park on the side of the road. Easy. You got a car. It's gonna do be a lot more harder than that. You gotta try to find a parking spot. At night it get packed as hell. So you gotta pull in um, the parks. If you don't want to go that route, you know what I'm saying? If you stay on Saloon Beach, they got little motorized cars you can rent. They got bikes, you know. Just be mindful. If you want to be a bike, you're trying to look cute. You're going to get sweaty. So be mindful of that. They got taxis as well, too. And they be on it. They be hustling. Hey, taxi, taxi, as soon as you walk in the spot. Also, not to mention, me, personally, I felt like it was more cleaner in Saloon, Mexico. I felt that they had way better precautions and people were just more mindful and conscious, you know, of certain things, you know, I swear. Every time you walk in this place, boom, heat checking you, washing your hands, hand sanitizer in your hands. But that was probably like 80% of the spots we walked into. Of course, not 100%, but a lot of those places was like that. We were walking into spots. I noticed they had like mats with water on it. They cleaned the bottom of your shoes. They had that. They had a lot of like um, hand washing stations that I saw. I post a picture on the screen right here. Boom. And I just felt like, personally to me, I felt like that shit was way clean. And people just more mindful of just being clean and washing behind themselves and trying to stay apart. Of course, it's spots you went to that, you know, it's inevitable. You can't be six feet away from people. But like I said, people were still mindful. And me personally, it felt more cleaner and safe than in the states in closing the last message i got for you guys if you want to travel abroad specifically to tulum mexico or anywhere before i went you know of course i did a lot of research you know like i said the cases were lower in mexico but personally me i won't gonna stop living my life i'm not gonna stop doing things i enjoy so i asked myself this one question you should probably ask yourself this question i asked myself i said would i rather catch corona going to the grocery store doing something regular you know and potentially die knock on wood or would i rather do something i love and enjoy and get a long lasting memory and potentially catch it and maybe die i chose the latter you know what i'm saying that's just how i think and that's just the question i think you should pose ask yourself you know what i'm saying this one this one would you rather do this or this so me personally, you know, I, I go out, I, of course, you got to still follow precaution, precautions. But I ask myself, would I rather do this one or do something I enjoy and potentially catch corona? So I said, fuck it. I'm going to do what I enjoy and love. I'm going to give me a long-lasting memory. I'm out, y'all. It ain't no talking about it. Just got the mind to go and fade a nigga. Boy, drop the addy, won't be drunk and no bluff. It just pop out. Give me